Hi, this is Congressman Nick Langworthy. And today marks one year since the brutal October 7th terrorist attacks on Israel. One of the darkest days in recent history. The brutality unleashed by Hamas terrorists that day was unimaginable. Over 1,200 innocent civilians, including 46 Americans, lost their lives in a calculated attack of terror that shocked the world. No one was spared. Women, children, the elderly, entire families were murdered in their homes, and many others were kidnapped and taken into Gaza. What the people of Israel experienced on October 7th is something that no one should ever have to endure. Earlier this year, I traveled to Israel, and I saw the scars of this terror attack firsthand. I toured the grounds of the Nova Music Festival, where nearly 400 young lives were stolen by Hamas. That place was meant to be a celebration of life and music when it was turned into a scene of true horror. In Jerusalem, I met with the Goldberg Poland family, whose son Hirsch, an American, was taken hostage at the music festival. The last videos and photos of Hirsch on the festival ground show him applying his own tourniquet after losing his arm. It's a gut-wrenching image that highlights the suffering that these families have faced. He was later killed after being held hostage by Hamas for many months. I also visited Kibbutz Nir Az, one of the hardest hit communities on the outskirts of the Gaza Strip. This was a peaceful community of nearly 400 residents. And on the morning of October 7th, more than 50 residents were killed and 77 were taken hostage. Seeing the burned out homes and the remnants of that attack illustrated to me the devastation that the Israeli people endured. The wounds of October 7th will never fully heal. But what's clear is that the resolve of the Israeli people remains unbroken. There are still 97 hostages being held by Hamas, including four Americans, and we cannot rest until we bring them home. Today, we are united with Israel. We stand with them in their mission to eliminate Hamas, a terrorist organization committed to Israel's destruction and the spread of violence. Now, let me be clear. Hamas is not just Israel's enemy. They're a threat to freedom and democracy everywhere. But it's not just Hamas. There are other terrorist organizations in the region acting as proxies of Iran, constantly threatening Israel's very right to exist. Israel is surrounded by existential threats who want them eradicated. And that's why it's so important that America stands by Israel, not just in words, but in actions and deeds. We need to continue to support our closest ally in the Middle East and make it clear that we will not tolerate the murder of innocent civilians or the kidnapping of Americans. Today, as we mark one year since these attacks, I want to send a message to the people of Israel. America stands with you. Your fight is our fight. And to the families of the hostages, we will continue to fight until every single hostage is safely returned home and until Hamas is fully defeated. Thank you, and may God bless Israel and all of those that have suffered at the hands of these terrorists.